So today we are doing demo nine. We're doing lesson 128. We're going to start with our ARD deck, but we will be making the sounds. All right, go ahead. Ooh, up. And like in bail. A. A. So, and then what is the normal sound it makes most of the time? Like in cat. Like in Europe. Yeah. Uh huh. And. A. A. You. Good. All right. We'll do some more next time. So a combining form is a Greek word that combines with other words or forms to make a new word. I'm going to write some words on the board and you're going to tell me what letters you see alike in these words. All right, we have, so our new learning, we have hydroplane and hydro power. What do you see alike in these words? Hydro. 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 So, hydro is our next Greek combining form. And what letters is that? Um, hydro. Yes, say the letters. H-Y-D-R-O. Okay, now I'm going to say you're going a word, you're going to echo it. Hydroplane, echo. Hydroplane. What do you hear right here? Hydro. Hydro power echo. Hydro power. What do we hear right there? Hydro. hydro. So, hydro is, um, we're using a combining form. It's a combining form. And um, a combining form is a Greek word that combines with other words or forms to make a new word. So, let's see if we can discover the meaning. Yes? It means a frog. Okay, so let's see. So, I'm going to say, um, a sentence and see if we think that's what it means, okay? A hydroplane is a plane that can land on the water. Oh yeah. So I hydro means water. what? Water. Water. And so I'll show you right here. Hydro, like in hydroplane, yeah. which is a plane that can a plane that can land on the water. Uh -huh. So I'm going to say a hydro as in water. Yeah. Say it with me. Hydro as in water. Now I'm going to write it over here and I want you to turn to page 137 and start working on that. And remember that you have some up here. You have the cheat sheet on the next page that you can look at. I already finished. Hydro. So I'm putting it at the beginning as in water. Okay. How do you write? Oh, right. I forgot how to write it. You really press this one here. Okay. But my mom said if you have, like, have you ever had your thing on the, when you were going across the highway? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so she's talking about, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Sometimes that happens though because of the water. The water on the um, ground on the street makes it where your tires don't want to be on the ground. They want to kind of slide. Okay, it, it messes up the friction. All right, so I'm going to write some new words on the board. You're going to tell me what letters you see alike in these words. Okay. So 
our new words are thermo, oops, I don't want that color, thermo, plastic. And I'm trying to write these really small because of the fact there's not a lot of room. Let me see if I write it in cursive. Will it be small, small enough? No, I think it'll Therm be bigger. <laughs> I, mean, I, I feel like I write bigger in cursive. Thermo graphs. It does seem bigger because oh my. I'm okay. Of, that doesn't. Yeah, that, then it just now yeah. blends together. See, I wrote. I'll write in cursive on this one right here. Okay. Thermo graphs. All right. So, what do we see like in these words? Thermo. Thermo. So thermo is our next Greek combining form. So let me highlight thermo. And then echothermoplastic. Thermoplastic. What sound? Thermo. Echothermographs. Thermographs. What sound? Thermo. Okay. So we listen for the words that the forms make, and they make thermo. They can also say thermo. A combining form is a Greek word that combines with other words or forms to make a new word. Let's see if we can discover the meaning. A thermoplastic material becomes soft when heated and hard when cooled. So, a thermoplastic material becomes soft when heated. So, thermo means what? Heat. heat. Okay, so let me show you. Plastic can melt when it's hot. So, thermoplastic. So, thermoplastic, these are plastic, and um, they they become hot when heated. I'm actually done a little experiment to Legos. I, put, I got a burning hot cup of water and set it in for like a couple of hours, and like the water turns color. No, like. Well, yes, it turned up like the, the water turned into the color of the Lego. Oh, yeah. And it, the Lego came bit notably. Oh, and that yeah. And a couple of I seconds, did. it turned not hard. I was, so, and I, I hurt myself. Oh, did y'all see that on like YouTube or something? I also YouTube did. kids, hopefully. Huh? I also did an experiment um, where I got a plastic bullet um, and like we had a fire going. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the heat. So thermo as in heat. Say it with me. Thermo, thermo as, as in heat. heat. Okay, so we I want you to turn to page 138. And we have some examples up here. You also have your cheat sheet or anything. Like what about thermometer? Oh yeah, thermometer. That's what I think of when I think and of then, thermo. And when I I when he said hydro, I said hydro glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is this? Okay. Thing? So we're filling out page 138. Everybody has that one? Okay, awesome. So we're going to keep on going. Okay, so I'm going to now I'm going to use cursive. I'm going to write some words on the board. Tell me what letters you see like in these words. So we have, oh, again, wrong color. I like black and then highlight it in yellow. Pyro. Pyro. Technics. And we have Pyro. Scope. So now, what do we see like in these? Pyro. Pyro is our combining form. So echo each word and tell me what you hear like. Pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. What do we hear like? Pyro. Pyro. Pyroscope. Pyroscope. What do we hear like? Pyro. So combining form is a Greek word that combines with other words or forms to make a new word. Let's see if we can discover the meaning. Pyrotechnics is a fireworks display. Pyrotechnics is a fireworks display. So pyro means fire. fire. Again? And I forgot to write. So thermo means heat. So I'll write it up here so we can so look fire. back. 
Yeah, all of them are in the beginning because so far all of them have been in the beginning. And high row means flyer. And thermo, we can also say like thermometer, like a thermometer. thermometer yeah. Okay. Now, so let's do page 139. Yeah. 139. Okay. Okay, so let me show y'all. I forgot to show you pyro. In just a second. So pyro. Remember, pyro means fire, so mm -hmm. pyrotechnics, that's like um, fire, and then the technics kind of reminds me of like tech, you know, high tech. Mm -hmm. um, so fire, I mean pyro as in fire, say it with me. Pyro as in fire.
Okay, so we'll on number just... four, there's two. Oh, on number four, there's two. Okay, so we'll just go around. So let's start right here. Go ahead. So move some people in the snow. So what do y'all think thermal socks might mean? Thermal socks mm -hmm. mean like warm. Yeah, like warm. Warm so or so like what? Because thermal means what? Heat, heat. Yes, good. Okay, go ahead and read number two. Yep. We watched the Fire Technics display on the 4th of July. Okay. Number four. A pyrophone make music using the flames of pyro. Hydro? Hydro. Genes. Wait, hydrogen. Hydrogen. So not hydro, I'm sorry, hydrogen. Good. Hydrogen burn in the glass room. Okay, so what did we say hydrogen was? What is hydro? hydrogen? Hydrogen means water. Okay. So, pyrofoam. So hydrogen has some water in it. Okay. Let's turn to page 143, please. Okay, so actually 142, I apologize. 142. So we will have hydro, which we can see as in water, and pyro, which we know as in fire. Okay, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrograph. Hydrograph. Hydroplane, hydroplane, hydropower, hydropower. and uh, hydrosalt. hydrosalt. All right, go ahead, Sammy. Hydrosalt, hydrogen, hydropower, hydrograph, hydroplane. Hydroplane, hydrogen, hydropower, hydrosalt, hydrograph. Hydropower, hydrosalt, hydrogen, hydrograph, hydroplane. Mm -hmm. You could say hydrogen. Okay, now let's look at the next one. We have pyro, which we said pyro was in what? Pyro was in fire. Fire, okay. Pyrotechnic. Pyrotechnic. Pyro acid. Pyro acid. Pyroelectric. Pyro Pyrofoam. Pyro Pyroscope. Pyroscope. Okay, Adam. Pyro acid. Pyro acid, pyro foam, pyro technique, pyro soap, pyro detective. Electric. Electric. Okay, go ahead. Oh, we're right here. Oh, pyro. Pyro? Pyro. Okay, so now I want you to, so we're going to remember that we can always look up here if we want to find out what they mean, okay? So we always have that for us. All right, now I want you to turn to your spelling arrows, please. And so I'll say a sound, you will echo it, and then we'll name and write it. All right. So our first sound is going to be, let me pull this down, Jean. <coughs> so that would be final. Simple, simple, T-I-S. Close. S-I-O-N, huh? S-I-O-N. Oh, and then Okay, and then J. Echo? J. So what would it be? It, it, we do have a DGE, but we'll start with a J, comma, and you said G. Then we have final position, DGE, and final position, GE. Okay, now let's do owl, echo. Ow. Diphthong what? 
Dip song OU. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And final position like in Cal dip song. OW. OW, good. Oh, and then er. Echo? Er. Combination. E good. E R. And then what about after? O O. Good. After a W. A o R. O a R can make that sound too. We it won't you write it. You're right. You're exactly right. But we don't have to write the A R and U R. Just because they're irregular for spelling, but sometimes we do see them. I'm glad you know that. Okay. Ch. Echo? Ch. What is that? C. Uh huh. Digar C H. Yes, good. Final position, TCH. Now remember, we can also see the CH in the final position. The TCH is like in a one syllable word with a short vowel, like in batch. We have the short A, ah, so we have a TCH, trigraph TCH. Okay, I want you to go ahead and turn to your blanks because we'll need them in a minute, not quite yet. And we'll go on to our phonemic awareness. Okay, so, and I'm going to let y'all come and do it on the board and we'll take turns. Okay, so, Sammy, unblend crab, or first echo. Okay, now, come pull down crab. confusing. We do have the diagraph CK, but we're just going to use the blue because it's still only one sound. But I'm glad that you noticed that it was a diagraph. Okay. If that is crack, Ethan echo croak. So Good. Okay, so we're changing crack to croak. And we know that we don't see the little thing anymore that tells us what to do, but we can look over here and find the O is on that side. So it's like this ship, yep. And then it has to say its name, so it's going to be the tall one because it's saying its name, there we go. So we changed our A to the O in the what position? Good, if that is croak, Adam, Echo Creek. Okay, so remember, I know that we think of cur as two letters, but one sound, like we, we know what cur is, but we still want to have two fingers. So, k, uh, e, okay, because cur does have two sounds, but I'm glad y'all know that that is cr. So that is croak, now we need creek. Okay, now look at me though, uh-huh. So it's gonna be on the, so let's look over here. This side of the ship. So we have to go to this side, uh-huh, good. So we're changing. Oh.